Amazon and Starbucks, two of the biggest corporations in the country, are facing an organizing push from their workers. They're demanding higher wages and better benefits. Experts believe a string of recent wins could be the beginning of a resurgence for organized labor. Gloria Pasmino explains. It was David versus Goliath, workers versus a mega corporation, and the workers won. We woke up the world and we shook up the union movement. When the pandemic began, Chris Smalls was working at this Staten Island Amazon Fulfillment Center in New York. He says he was worried about the health and safety of his colleagues, so he staged a walkout to protest conditions. The company fired him not long after that, saying Smalls violated quarantine rules. Out of a job, Smalls and his friend Derek Palmer, who is still employed by Amazon, kicked off a months-long campaign to organize the nation's first Amazon labor union. This April, 2,654 workers at the Staten Island facility, known as JFK 8, voted in favor of joining the union. The Amazon Labor Union is demanding higher wages in line with inflation and safer working conditions. Amazon filed an appeal with the National Labor Relations Board a week after the vote, accusing the agency of unfairly and inappropriately facilitating the union's win. Amazon workers aren't the only ones organizing. From coast to coast, workers from 20 different Starbucks locations in the country have voted to unionize. At least 216 have filed petitions to hold a vote. The workers are all standing together. Um, to have their voices heard and to make these changes uh, within the companies. Melissa Slabow is helping to organize workers at the Starbucks Roastery in Seattle. But in a message to company employees, Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz said, while not all partners supporting unionization are colluding with outside union forces, the critical point is that I do not believe conflict, division, and dissension, which has been a focus of union organizing, benefits Starbucks or our partners. They've been asked to work harder and longer. They've been asked to make concessions while corporate profits were soaring. For now, the union effort at Starbucks and Amazon represent only a tiny fraction of their workforce. Whenever there's a big victory, it inspires other workers to organize. In New York, I'm Gloria Pasmino.